Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we are going to be doing a bit of a PSA and a bit of a clarification on some deals and such going on with the Black Friday event. So, the Black Friday event, for those of you that don't know or haven't logged in to the game the past week or so, every Black Friday, Wargaming takes a couple of premium ships makes a black version of them and sells them for anywhere from 25 to 35% off of their original cost. And normally they are pretty desirable ships. Uh, a couple of years ago, Massachusetts was one of the black ships, so you get a Massachusetts, which is a fantastic battleship, for um, roughly $20 off of the original cost, which that's a pretty good deal. You're getting a tier 8 premium. I think it was only $35.00. No, $32 instead of the $48 that it normally cost. Uh, and that's normally how the, the event goes. And this year, the ships were the Kazakh, the Atlanta, the Jambar, and the Kaga. They all got black versions, which when a ship gets a black version, it gets a really fancy camouflage, which actually looks pretty darn nice. Normally very slick and very well done. You don't get any of that rust or anything that you get on the normal camouflages. It looks very, very clean, and again, art department knocking it out of the park there. So you get that really cool camouflage, and you get the ship. And it is, it is a standalone premium from the normal ship. So, for example, in my port right now, I have Massachusetts and Massachusetts B. Only difference is Massachusetts B has that fancy black camo. Other than that, they are literally the exact same ship. All the stats are the same. Everything's the same about it. It's just It just looks cosmetically different. You can even take the black camouflage off of it, and it literally looks like the normal ship. So... This year, uh, with the Jean Bar B being one of the ships you can get for a pretty good deal, honestly, for the cost of the ship. I'm not saying, you know, paying this much for a digital item is a good deal. I'm saying if you wanted the Jean Bar and didn't want to pay the full price for it, which was uh, $80 back when it was available in the premium shop, you get it this year with the black version for $60 which is a really good deal. Again, looking at the original cost of the ship and what it is now. And like I said in the video I put up right before the event be began, if you want to buy a, just one premium ship the entire time that you play World of Warships, be it for a year or be it for five years, just buy the Jean Bar and you'll be set for the rest of your World of Warships career because of how good the ship is. And again, you're getting an $80 ship for $60. Now, as part of the Black Friday event, if you already had the standard version of these ships, and for whatever reason bought the black version, you got a bonus combat mission. Where, if you played her standard version, be it in co-op or be it in random battles, and won five times in it, you would get 2,500 doubloons. About $10 worth of doubloons. So... That way, if you have Jean Bar B and buy Jean Bar, you effectively get her for fifty dollars, because you get a bit of a rebate there with it with those twenty five hundred doubloons. And they do this because some players will not buy the ships outright, but instead buy some of the Black Friday containers. The Black Friday containers do have the Black Friday ships in them as a chance to win. And it would kind of suck, let's say, if you do buy one of the container bundles and you get a ship that you already have. And of course, buying the container bundles means you could potentially spend, you know, only a handful of doubloons and get maybe a Jean Bard tier 9 premium ship. That's it. That is very, very, very nice if that happens to you. But if you already have the thing, you get the black version, you get the combat mission. Where you, you know, you still have the ship, and you have two copies of the ship now, but you still get $10 of doubloons out of it, which, that's pretty nice. So you may be thinking, Mountbatten, what's the issue there? It seems like a pretty good deal all, all around, and like a win-win. Yeah, it is. However, it appears that... The descriptions for the combat missions have been misinterpreted by many. How many do you ask? Well, I checked my email the other day, and quite a few, to put it, to put, to put, to, to put it lightly. Um, yeah. So I had a ton of emails about this. Uh, everything from saying it was a glitch, from saying you know they had tried to contact Wargaming support about it, but they were no help. Um, to accusations of false marketing and even some allegations that Wargaming broke uh, the law in the United Kingdom and Germany as well. This is just from my emails too. Um, so yeah, it's it, it appears that the wording 
isn't clear enough, even though if you go look on the website for World of Warships, it clearly states that these missions are for the standard versions only. It says it in at least four locations that I could find on the website just from casually browsing through the article and not even looking at the uh, See More Details tab. And it says it in game as well. If you look at the big Black Friday bundle, it clearly says at the bottom, combat missions, along with each black ship, you will receive a special combat mission for her standard version. Five victories gained with Kazakh, Kaga, Atlanta will bring you 2,500 doubloons. If you win five battles playing Jean Bar, you will also receive 25,000 coal in addition to 2,500 doubloons. So, seems pretty clear, right? And when I read this the first time, I'm like, there, there's no way people miss this. I mean, it says it, again, three or four times on the website. It says it clearly in the Black Friday bundle. Now, it just seems that a lot of players have misread these articles, which is strange because this event happened last year as well, and I don't recall any of this happening at all because the same thing happened last year. You could buy the ship, buy the containers to potentially get the ship in. If you already had the standard version of the ship and got the black version of the ship, you got a combat mission to get 2,500 doubloons. I know this because I bought the Massachusetts, and I played the standard Massachusetts to get the 2,500 doubloons. And all was well, and I, I don't remember this happening. The only way I can see this being misinterpreted is if you go to the individual ship bundles, where the wording's a little bit different. So, if we go to the ship bundle, um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to show you up on screen, but I'm just going to scroll down to, um, here, here's the Jean Bar. So, it has the description about the Jean Bar and, you know, yada yada yada, down to combat missions. Owners of this bundle will also receive a special combat mission for Jean Bar. Five victories gained playing Jean Bar in randoms, ranked, or co-op battles will bring you 2,500 doubloons and 25,000 coal. Seems pretty straightforward. If you play Jean Bar, you get 2,500 dubs and 25,000 coal if you buy Jean Bar Black. However, it seems that some readers, some players, skimmed the article too quickly and didn't realize that it said Jean Bar, not Jean Bar Black, or Jean Bar B, as the ship is named in game. And it just seems to be a simple reading mistake. Now, there's been plenty of accusations, if you go onto the subreddit, of Wargaming being mischievous about this and um, it being false advertising, this, that, and the other, but I don't think so. I mean, why? Why would they entice you to um, buy the ship and not give you your 2,500 doubloon rebates? It's not... They're not saving any money doing that. I mean... It's not like they have to refund you your your purchase of cash if you buy it for cash outright, because it, it, it's the blooms. It's a digital currency. It's it doesn't have any real life. Well, I mean, it has real life value in terms of money, but it's not like you know, it's a, a currency that's traded internationally or anything. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think it's any malpractice from wargaming. I mean. They've really been, if you look at their track record recently, they've, they've been up front with just about everything that they've been doing. And I mean, and again, they clearly stated several times on their website and in the armory itself that these missions are for the standard versions of the ship. And they've been really open with like the recent dockyard events. They've been really open with a lot of the changes happening. They've been really open with, uh, even with, with the RP Amy, I'll give them that. They straight up say, you know, it, here, buy it. It's, it, it's a tier 10 for sale. They, they didn't try to sweep it under the rug or anything. They even straight up said that, yeah, the ship's going to get nerfed, so expect that in the future. Well, they said that they'll change it if they need to, which, again, means that it's literally just the Yami w with the premium icon on it. So I, I don't see why they would be trying to scalp people out of $10 worth of doubloons. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I don't see it. Again, they're not making any money over not giving you... Ten dollars worth of doublooms. I mean, sure, that's ten dollars of the blooms you'd have to buy later down the road, but I, I, I don't see it. It just—it just seems like an honest misunderstanding of their of their event, 
And, I mean, like I said, again, it's pasted everywhere on their website and in the armory, too. And just so everyone knows, I'm not a CC. I'm not part of Wargaming's program. I have no contact with them. I don't get anything from them. So I'm not defending them f over this just because I'm part of some program or anything. Because judging by the way some people are speaking on the on Reddit and in the forums, holy crap, you act like they're trying to take your house away from you or something. Um, that's why I, I say, you know, make sure you go to visit the website. Make sure you read the article. Especially when I'm going through the dev blogs, because, you know, a lot of the, um, the translation sometimes off between Russian and English, sometimes there's some details in there that I may miss, and that's why I encourage you guys to go read the article or, or go read the website for yourself as I cover it in any type of, um, news, news update or anything. It, yeah, I mean, it just seems like, an, like, just a misunderstanding. And again, this happened last year too, and I don't recall... Um, the outrage being this big. You know, I didn't get 200 something emails over the event last year, and I don't recall seeing it blow up on, on Reddit last year either or on the forum. So I guess because the Jean Bar is there, and maybe because there's been a huge influx of new players this year, and th they don't know how the event works. But yeah, just know that if you're buying these black ships, those combat missions are only for the standard ships. So yes, that means if you buy the Jean Bar black and you don't have the Jean Bar in port, you can't get those free uh, $10 worth of doubloons. I mean, it, it's meant to be as a reward for players that already have Jean Bar if they get in a, if they get in a container, or if they buy Jean Bar Black, it acts kind of as a rebate for them because they already have the ship in the first place. So yeah, just be aware of that, guys, and enjoy the event because I mean, again, you're still getting Jean Bar for twenty dollars off of the original price and it's the exact same ship in all regards so just be aware guys and make sure in any type of event or any type of deal not only in what of warships but in real life too make sure you read all the details so you don't make a mistake and think you're going to be getting something that you're not going to get that's just good life lessons and good management Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it's just, you know, an honest misunderstanding of the of the audience? Or do you think Wargaming is really trying to sleaze people out of $10 worth of diplomas? Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Make sure if you did enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We just passed 20,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. The winner of the first giveaway that I started a week ago has been selected and I should have contacted him by the time you're watching this video. Once they get back to me, I will let you guys know who won and what they chose. Again guys, hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.